Hello, my fellow fishing freaks. It is Monday and it is just been a rainy, rainy week here in Texas. I actually tried to go out yesterday. As soon as I got out there, got rained out, but I did meet a couple of uh, a couple of LFG fans. I met Hunter and Tristan, uh, showed up right as I got out on the water. Got to talk to them for a little while, so shout out to them. And I also want to give a shout out to a Jamie from Wisconsin uh, Jamie, your wife wrote into the LFG Fishing TV Facebook page and wanted me to let you know that you need to go fishing all day. Go enjoy yourself. So full freedom to go fishing. Please catch a big smallmouth for me since I'm down here in Texas and don't have access to those big brown beautiful bronze backs that you have. And uh, go enjoy your birthday, man. Happy birthday. So everybody that wrote in commented on the boat video that I did. Um, thank you guys. Uh, very mixed reviews. Uh, <laughs> that didn't make my decision any easier actually. I feel like it's time to move on guys. So I, I think I think the decision has been made. Uh, I will be getting a new boat. Uh, we're gonna say goodbye to, to the old legend and uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna get next. I don't even know, but I'm going to walk you guys through the process. This place. Random rod socks. Got an extra drone. Let's go see what's in the Cave of Wonders. Got rod tubes here. Okay. Here's some. These are all broken. That's what these are. Broken. Okay. Let's go gather up the rest of these rods. A bunch of brand new rods that I'm never going to use. It's getting bigger. Found some more. There we go. Alright, we got all these right here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Alright. So as you can see, I've got too many fishing rods right now. I mean, I've got some that are in the packages, some that are brand new, um, some that are old that I uh, just like, some that just have like a tip broken off, some that are completely broken and I really shouldn't even have, but I guess I just can't get rid of them. I'm like a, a rod hoarder. I'm thinking about having a, uh, uh, like a meet meet and greet day at Tackle Addict. If you guys are, are local, you want to go to Tackle Addict one of these days. Um, I'm thinking about doing something in September, <clears throat> like on a weekend, uh, where everybody can come in and uh, just bring some of these rods in and uh, just blow them out. Um, you know, I don't even know how much some of them are worth, but we just need to get rid of them. So thinking about doing that hit the thumbs up if you think that's a good idea leave a comment if you think that's a good idea where I can get rid of some of these bass rods maybe some bass reels too um, that I don't need that some that are new some that are used and uh, you can get an awesome deal on them and I can get them out of the house and Stephanie won't be uh, frustrated with rods sitting at all corners of the house it's weird that I don't like put them in one place. You know, I've got like five in one corner and then I've got like 10 in one corner and then I've got three in this room and then I've got like 10 in the attic. It's just, it's kind of weird. I think I have a rod hoarding problem. All right, I think we got this down to a manageable pile. These are all the leftover spinning rods that I have. Actually, these are my only spinning rods right now. 
because my other ones got broke in the airline. So this is all I have left. These are all broken. All broken. Those are going to the trash. These are a perfectly good order uh, beef sticks. These are some really nice bass rods that uh, I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to sell. All these are, are cranking rods. I'm going to sell those. These two are just super old, kind of beat up, but still usable. But um, I think I'm going to give these away. So. Whenever we do our meetup, uh, the first two first two people that, that get to uh, get to tackle addicts when we do our meetup, we'll give these away. So I found another combo too that I think I'm going to keep in my truck is basically like a backup, always going with me kind of setup here. So you guys know when I went on my Canada trip. A lot of my rods got destroyed and I had to get um, some backup rods and I ended up getting a an ugly stick pistol grip baby actually turned out to work pretty good besides the guides being terrible on it um, they're just absolute garbage the rod action was pretty good for what I was doing up there throwing topwaters and I dug up uh, one of my old Corrado 200s and I'm slapping that on there so now Whenever I'm traveling, um, I'm gonna make me a little setup in my truck where I can just literally rig that in there and I stop on the side of the road, I see a spot, I'm just gonna, you know, usually I keep nice rods in the front seat with me, but you know, if I'm in a situation, maybe I'm going to like a wedding or family reunion or some other function, just driving down the road, don't happen to have any rods in the front seat with me, I'm gonna have this guy. So the old ugly stick and the pistol grip is going to be hammering the ponds around this country if I pass any good ones. Well now, after playing with all this fishing equipment, I've got the itch to go fishing. Get it spooled up, I'm going to get out there. This is my little spooling station right here I got rigged up. Right now I just got some 15 pound big game on here and then some 50 pound Power Pro Max Quattro, complete opposites on um, price ranges. I just keep this on here for you know, throwing spinner baits and crank baits, stuff like that. It's, you know, just a decent little line that's it's proven the test of time. It doesn't break the wallet, but uh, it will break. It's not the best. Really stretchy too. But we're gonna throw it on the old Corrado, throwback Corrado. Save it. Use that as our uh, our little our little hatchback rod. <laughs> we'll take our little electrical tape, stick it on there. There we go. Saves us from trying to or having to tie a knot. Then we start spooling it up. All right, we got her all spooled up, ready to go. I'm gonna keep this in the back of the truck, but right now we're gonna go try it out at our local retainer pond. Uh, shout out to the fish whisperer for showing me this pond I, it's it's actually like a few hundred yards down the street um, but for some reason he was in my neighborhood one day and, and fished it and uh, he says there's bass in there if it's the same pond we're thinking of pond lures pond lures pond lures yep oh yeah look at this little guy if that won't catch a fish in a pond, I don't know what will. This is actually the perfect situation to break out the worms that uh, one of you guys gave me. This was uh, something a subscriber sent in. Um, perfect little grubs for this spinnerbait trailer. I'm feeling this little one. Look at that. Look how, look how good that match is right there. We're gonna thread this on, chartreuse and white, spinnerbait, chartreuse and white grub. This is gonna be a winner, I think. Oh my, look at that. Look at that delightfulness right there. It's pretty much looking like we're gonna get hammered with rain again. So we're gonna have to make this, uh, we're gonna have to make this quick excursion over here. All right. We be here. 
Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Holy cow, I just got a bite. <laughs> All right, one last chance with a redemption spinnerbait. Oh. Look at that, guys. Yes. Got him on that redemption spinner. Last cast of the evening before it starts raining. Yeah! Love catching them bass, guys. God. Just do. All right, I'm gonna end my day right there with a good old fashioned Texas pond bass. Hallelujah. Didn't even know there was bass in there, so that was pretty cool. Next week, we got an awesome tuna swordfish episode been wanting to put that up for a while so that's going to go up and i've got another mtb unboxing one of my favorite unboxings yet so don't want to miss that and also if you missed last week the last vlog talking about the boat uh, what i'm going to do with it sell it and all that make sure you go watch that um, i want to take you guys through the process of getting a new one i think i'm decided on that and then also um, make sure you go watch stephanie's pb bass uh, if you missed that stephanie's not even here this weekend so go watch that in her honor uh, thank you guys so much for watching tuning in make sure to leave me a comment on the rods uh, i want to do a meetup and sell some of these rods to you guys just like at you know half half price or whatever for the brand new ones and i, I don't even know with the other ones but we'll figure it out um, if you've never been to tackle addict they're in on alaska probably going to do a meetup there you can go to tackleaddict.com check them out check out where they are Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I've got my random uh, tackle box. Like this is one that I'll usually carry with me around on the road. Like it just kind of stays with me at all times. It really shouldn't even be in my boat right now. It's like a hodgepodge of yep. stuff I typically use. Top water spinner baits, crank baits. Let's worry about yours. Bigger. Yes, much bigger. Woo. There we go. Oh my gosh, your 2016 bass is a big one. Hang on, give it some slack. Give it some slack. Oh. Bring it over towards me. You're gonna, you're gonna get him.